Can you start with the one time you were down this game, 7-6, you, you and the offense came back for a 75-yard drive, you kind of did the same thing in the third quarter of that Giants game. Can you talk about the drive today specifically and just this offense's ability to kind of in the moment uh, to make those momentum changing? Yeah, we had a couple of key third downs there. MG catches the uh, third and eight ball, gets us going, um, found some rhythm. Got a penalty, kept us alive. Those are huge. Um, so, you know, once we just get momentum, we just, you know, got to stay ahead of the chains and we, we can feel as an offense, we just can't beat ourselves. And, um, you know, we got players everywhere, we run the ball, and um, that was a big drive. Nick Cooper, Patrick Walker, DallasCowboys.com. Talk about MG, critical third down conversion, touchdown, two downfield penalties committed to try to contain him. What was his impact in his first game back? Yeah, it's exactly what you expected from him. I mean, he looked like Michael Gallup. Big time play, run the back of the end zone there, getting open. Um, big time third down, like I said. Uh, Drew the holding call, which, you know, he beats the guy off the line right away. I mean, he's gone. And uh, another PI. So big time player. We're really happy for him. That was, I think, big for him, you know, just to go back out there. And, you know, I'm still Michael Gallup and uh, can go make plays. And it's really going to help us. <clears throat> Cooper, Newey Scruggs, NBC Dallas. Can you give me a sense as a quarterback what it is like having a defense that keeps you in the football game, that you don't have to immediately go and score points, that you can can, can take some time and not rush them. Yeah, they're the reason we're winning. I mean, it's just plain and simple. Those guys, I mean, 10 points in the NFL is pretty impressive. And <clears throat> we gave them, I mean, they had, I think uh, they had really good field position all day. Um, and our defense just kept them out of the end zone, kept getting off the field. Um, as an offense, knowing that they have your back like that, it's huge. It's one of their messages is we have everyone's back. And, um, and they, you know, they walk the walk. Todd. Could we talk Archer with ESPN on Michael's <coughs> touchdown? How quickly do you see him running away from the linebacker? Are you throwing him to a spot? Is that something you guys work on in practice when things when you get out of the pocket like that? Yeah, we always do the scramble drill. I mean, that's a that's a staple, and um, you know he's caught a lot of touchdowns like that over the years. You know, Dax hit him on the back line on a scramble, and we just came out, saw CD there, and then kind of behind CD, 13's hauling. I mean, he's hauling. You're like, okay, he's coming, he's coming. Just finds the window and. He did a great job. Just keep running. Left himself some room back there. Get his feet down, and um, just a classic MG play. You guys didn't run well, but how much of the attempts? Because you did have a lot of attempts. Open up things up for the passing game. Yeah, you know they're going to want to stop our run game, and we were able to get some big play action passes down the field today. And um, they have a really good front. I mean, that front is as good as it gets. Um, so we knew it was going to be a tough challenge to run it, but you know we stuck with it. And it opened up, I think, some of the deeper shot plays, the one to Noah down the middle and um, other other opportunities. You know, everything's based off the run game. And, you know, we got to keep running. Anybody? Tom? You're 4-0 as a starter. You're the first Cowboys quarterback to do that. First quarterback to win his first four starts since 2018, 2019, something like that. What's this ride like? Uh, it's been fun. Uh, try and enjoy it. Um, you know, the NFL doesn't let you enjoy it much. Uh, you got to go in week in, week out and play. But, uh, you know, the 4 and is just, I mean, you guys saw it today, the defense and, you know, all the, all the breaks we catch. And, you know, it's just kind of lucky. QB win stats are, they are what they are. Um, it's a team game. And, you know, it's nice having those defense, the, the defense have our back like that and some special team plays. And Brett's making kicks. And we're doing just enough on offense. You said lucky, you had some lucky. Do you feel you were lucky a couple of those interceptions, you know, were called back because of penalties? If you, yeah, you one was well? holding right away, the one to TP. We knew that. I mean, had to get rid of that one, too, because we were in the end zone. And we liked the matchup. I mean, it was a good good call by Kel. We had it. And um, then the other one, yeah, they caught us on third down. Bad decision by me. Um, but it was lucky. <laughs> you say lucky, but when you step back and you look at what you did today, what do you think you did the best job of, personally? Uh, I think uh, downfield accuracy, I think we were good. We were able to get Noah down the middle, um, you know, hit CD on intermediate routes a couple times. And we were able to just get chunk plays out of the play action game and passing game to get us kind of going, get us in the field goal range a few times. Um, did a good job of not getting out of field goal range, no holding penalties, no negative plays. Uh, that's huge. You got to get points. Um, so we have a lot to improve on, myself, definitely. Um, you know, miss miss a lot of throws, and but you know we won. Ed Werder from ESPN. Given all the success that you've had and 
this experience of starting multiple games for the first time in your career and winning the ball, how hard will it be to go back to being the backup quarterback and not playing every week? Well, yeah, you just enjoy playing ball. I mean, you're, like you said, you, you don't get to start every week, you know, as a backup. And so while you're in there, you just want to do your job. You really enjoy it. It's fun being with those guys. Um, you know, we have a heck of a team, great locker room. So, you know, you cherish it all. And, you know, when your numbers call, you just keep playing. All right. David? How much do you feel early in the season you're kind of helping everybody's coming together to kind of define who this team is and what its identity is? And, and to do that with some key guys being out, does that say even more about this group overall? Yeah, it's a, you know, close group, great locker room, like I said. Um, on offense, we know what we have over there on defense. You know, we've seen it. And, now everyone's seen it. Um, so kind of just having that feeling of just do your job, execute ball plays, you know, just keep getting points on the board every drive, whether field goal or touchdown, just keep making plays that, you know, we're going to be all right because that defense playing really well. Cooper, this is your last start. What has this opportunity meant for you personally? Uh, it's been huge. It's why you play the game. Um, you know, since you're a little kid, you want to start in the NFL. And, um, so. Being able to do that um, for the Dallas Cowboys on Sunday afternoons, it's, it's pretty awesome. Um, so just, you know, we're back to work this week. And, um, you know, we have a really good appoint opponent in LA. So, you know, you can cherish it for a second, but it's the NFL. It's right back at it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.